homesteaders. Uh, this is Jay from Our Harvest Moon Homestead. I'm taking a little break right now from the wood shop. Uh, as I've mentioned before in the last video, I think it was, we've got three days worth of shows coming up Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so we need more products. So I've been busy uh, in the workshop on the lathe this morning, so it was a little break time. Um, we've had comments on ours. I've seen them on other people's channels, and boy, there's some good channels out there. But I see stuff from other people that say, uh, I live in town or I've only got a half acre or an acre of land and it's going to be too hard to homestead. I can't wait to get a big place so I can homestead. Well, you don't need a big place to homestead. Yeah, it's nicer to have that space, but there are many, many urban homesteaders out there. I mean, homesteading is different things to different people and it's what you make of it out there. Which brings me to this week's homestead shout out. I'd like to give one a week to another homesteader out there. Uh, this goes out to Misfit Gardening, Emma over there. Uh, I want you all to go over to Misfit Gardening and check out what Emma has. She's an urban homesteader and she's got a beautiful setup over there. Some very good videos on how she does it in an urban setting. She's got bees, uh, she's got her gardens, she's got chickens out there. And to her, she's doing a very, very good job. So go over and check out Emma at Misfit Gardening. Um, so it can be done in an urban setting. And it's a step up. You learn that way. You know some stuff before you go to a bigger place. So that kind of brings me to uh, what I have written down here now. Oh, so you want a homestead. Um, a lot of people want a homestead. They, they need to learn certain skills and stuff. Really look at it hard before you get into it. Um, How did we get into homesteading? We had a place before we had this one. Uh, we had some good sized organic gardens over there. We canned, we heated with wood, but it was in a very small town. It was in the small town limits. Uh, so there was not gonna be any animals. Um, and I don't care for a lot of people around me. We're very isolated out here and we like that a lot more which brought us to come to this place. What really kicked it in for us, uh, because of some health issues, uh, we decided quite a while ago to change how we eat and what we eat. We were at a health food store, and I was talking to this lady that runs the place, really smart lady, and her and I got to talking one day, and she uh, asked me how old I was, and I told her, and she goes, I want you to look back in time some. I said, okay. She goes, now, back when you were young, she goes, how many people do you know that walked around on walkers, canes, had strokes, heart attacks, ADHD, all these other things that are really prevalent out there today? And I got to thinking, I said, really, none, if any, back then. She goes, what's the difference? I said, I don't know. She goes, it's the food in the water. She goes, we don't have food anymore. The water's all got chemicals in it. It's got fluoride in it. It's got chlorine in it. The food in the stores is just nothing but chemicals. There's, there's nothing, no, no nutrients in there. So that really got us thinking and wanted us to push this even further than what we were doing. Plus we wanted the animals uh, for the food they provide, for a source of income. Um, I stopped working last year, so we're on a limited income right now, a fixed income. Uh, so that, that makes it rougher to do it that way. Um, that's why we do the shows we do, we raise the food, we, we make sure we grow enough and raise enough food for ourselves for the next year, and then we sell off our excess. Oh, and here, here comes Moochie. Hi Moochie, come here. Yes, Moochie's a good guy. Uh, so that was one of our primary reasons for us homesteading, to do it that way. Uh, this is how we want to live life. We want to live it a better life, a uh, more self-sustaining life. Uh, we want to know what we eat. Uh, there are no chemicals used here. It's a lot more work what we do. We've created a lot more work for ourselves. People who think homesteading is going to be easy are sadly mistaken. You need to learn skills. If you don't have those skills, Mookie, don't hit that tripod. Um, basic skills. I know so many people anymore who can't cook. If it doesn't come from a restaurant or out of a box or through fast food, they don't know what to do with it. I've got a neighbor down the road. He, he struggles with cooking. Uh, 
starting fires. Just there are just so many small little things that you could be learning right now before you take on homesteading. You know, naturally there's there's tools to learn how to use, canning to learn how to do. There's so many things that you could be learning in advance, preparing yourself to homestead for when you get that place or when you decide to go ahead and do it in town. So really look into the reasons why you want a homestead. Think about them seriously. Think what the changes it's going to make on your life, how it's going to affect you differently, and then jump into it. Don't jump hard, but just jump into it. Don't take on too much in the beginning of it. Gradually work your way into it, because you don't want to overwhelm yourself. Um, so my advice is if it's something you really seek, something you really want to do, and you've got the right reasons behind it, your spouse is on board with it, make sure you know everybody's on board with this program. Uh, Amy and I originally had slightly different backgrounds. Amy was a city girl. I'd had experience. I had a farm before, uh, so I had some knowledge. But Amy's got strengths and skills that I know nothing about, and I've got them that she knows nothing about. So we balance out real well together, and we're both learning from each other. So it, it's a continual learning process. I learn so much from other people's channels, uh, from looking on the Internet, from reading about stuff. Uh, Amy does the same thing. So it's a learning process, it's a, a process that never stops, but it's a heck of a good life to have. Well, I need to get back to work. Once again, I want to give that shout out to Emma over at Misfit Gardening. Go over and visit her. Uh, I'll put her link on Facebook, on her YouTube channel down below. And we'll talk to you again in a bit. See you later. Bye.